Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading from Psalm 19 as we make our way through the book of Psalms, we left off in verse 5. I want to begin reading in verse 4 as God describes how the heavens, the work of his hands, declare his glory and reveal something about his character. The heavens, he is saying in verse 4, their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In other words, God's heavens, no matter what language you speak, speak to people about God and the reality of him and his power and his wisdom <clears throat> and his love for beauty and order. And them he hath set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoicing like a strong man to run his race. The sun is strong as well as reliable. It runs its course day after day, day after day, with the seasons, with the years. It never changes because God is in control of it and he is a God of order. You can keep time by the sun. You can tell the seasons by the sun and it is strong. It's been running its course for thousands of years and it hasn't grown tired it has not lost a step and it will continue you have God's promise on that until the end of the age verse 6 his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hidden from the heat thereof you can count on the sun the weather people know the exact moment the sun will rise on every single date because God is a God of order. They think it's Mother Nature, you know. They, they think it's the way the, the world has evolved. No, it is God who is in control of it. He is a God of order. It should speak to people of an orderly, wise God. But instead, they've denied God, so many of them, and they say, well, you know, it's just a part of evolution. It's the evolutionary cycle or whatever mumble jumble they use. People say, they ask the question these days, is there intelligent design in the universe? Well, if you, if you don't see it, if you have to even ask that question, then you haven't looked or you're not too smart. Of course there's intelligent design. It's all over the place. God's fingerprints are all over his creation, especially in the sky. Not just especially in the sky, but certainly in the sky. Verse 7, the law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul. When you are down, read the word, because it will convert your soul. In other words, it will revive your soul, your mind, your emotions. It might not happen immediately, but keep at it. Keep reading the word of God, because it will renew your soul. It will revive you. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. You get more wisdom from reading Holy Scripture than you will from all the other books of the world combined. I don't read other books. I used to read books. I used to read all sorts of theolo the theology books, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, learning from those who have studied the Word of God a long time and systematically um, produced theology of every part of the Bible. There's nothing wrong with that sort of thing. Nothing wrong with books per se, but reading the Word is much more profitable. That's all I do is read the Word now. And it's been that way for probably a couple of decades at least. You'll get wisdom from reading the Word of God for 15 minutes. More wisdom than you would get from reading the books of men for hours. Anyway, we're going to stop right here. And I would like to tell you that if you would love to study the Word of God with me, or even if you would like to study the Word of God with me, the whole counsel of God from Genesis through Revelation, you can do that at thebibleversebyverse.com. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me, pray for God's Word. Click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.